Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Yay! Um, sorry if this is crooked. Uh, my tripod's broken. Because that's what happens when you buy cheap stuff off of uh, Amazon. Anyway, I have two things that I am boxing today. Well, one, I'm going to show you guys. I'm not really going to unbox it because it's pretty big and I think I'm going to have to unbox it as I set it up. But let me get this one out of the picture for a minute because we're going to do that one second. And let's see. This. Can you please move? You're in the way. Thank you. I don't know if this is in the camera or not. Move please. Okay. Cool. It is. So we are going to be setting up a pond. Woohoo! With this best way pool. Like, um, I don't want to do any digging in my yard and setting up like a, um, you know, in-ground pond. Well, okay, so people just walk past my house and my dog didn't bark. Hooray! Um, so yeah, we're going to do this because the plan is not to be in this house forever. The plan is to move into a bigger house one day. And, yeah, I don't really want to go through all that work and you know the my yard's not very big to begin with and this is a family neighborhood so if I were to put a pond in my very small yard it might make the house less likely to rent or be sold because um, it'll make the yard smaller so yeah we're going to be doing this best way pool and it is 102 inches by 67 by 24 which according to Amazon it holds like a little less than 500 gallons I think so all the butterflies are gonna go into this thing and over the summer and that's it just the butterflies so right now I have ten nine butterflies and I'm probably gonna get two or three more but 12 will be the max so this is the one I'm not gonna be unboxing because it's probably got a lot of pieces to it the dog is ruining the shot. Anyway, it's probably got a lot of pieces to it, and I just want to keep them all in there until I set it up. So, we are probably going to set that up in a couple of weeks. It's going to, it's not supposed to freeze again here, but it's supposed to get into the high 30s, so I don't want to set it up and put the goldfish out there just to have them go through that. So, we're going to probably set it up once the lows are in like the high 40s which is supposed to be in the middle of March. So, that's the first thing. Now let me get this out of the way. And so this is the one that we're actually going to be unboxing. And by the way, I'll leave a link to that pool on in the description because um, in case you're interested in purchasing it, I did look at the reviews and people do use them for like ponds and aquaponics and all that stuff. I don't know how permanent it's going to be like if I can use it year after year after year most people have only been using theirs for less than a year so yeah the next one is also part of the going to be part of the pond and I blacked out all my information there but not that it's in focus so you can see it anyway um, this one came off of eBay because Amazon had just raised their price which makes sense. Pond season's coming, so all this stuff is going to get more expensive. So I got this off of Amazon for like 80 or $90 tops with free shipping. And the pool was $90 tops with free shipping. I don't know which side is the top, so we're just going to open this side. And I know I could build my own filter, but I'm not all that mechanically um, gifted. So I decided let's not chance it and kill fish because I want to save some money. Oops, there's my info there. Hopefully nobody caught that. If you did, I have lots of dogs, so. Um, so this is the big filter. Um, this is not, this one's like, I know it's not the small one. Sorry, I just knocked over a broom. This is not the smallest one. This one is, it does, it does a lot. So this is what it looks like in here. 
Um, it's got the UV built in and all that good stuff. Um, so basically, basically, the purpose of doing this unboxing now is to find out what I'm going to need, pretty much, to go with it. So I'll probably need some sort of plumbing to go with it. I don't know if it's all in here or not. So that's that. There's this stuff. Oh, that's nice. Put glass in there. Just totally unprotected. Anyway. Good thing these are in English. This is, I guess what it is. CPF 180-250 UVC Pond Press Biofilter. And let's see. What it do I need anything extra? Looks like I'll need hoses. So that'll be fun. Um, I looked up stuff online about this. I was trying to figure out people um, like setting it up because as I said not very mechanically inclined here. Not the worst but so I didn't see people setting these things up because people pretty much always build their own filters instead of purchasing it so I guess that's what it looks like here I don't know Oh, I guess they had the picture shows, of course, the little, I don't know if you guys can see that, that's the um, intake, so it goes in, and then I guess it has two outputs, which I guess makes sense, so you can, I maybe can put one on each side, um, so it has one output here, and then I don't know where that goes. I'm also doing a water change as I film this. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to go over this, all these beautiful pages of instructions later so this looks like the intake and all that good stuff that goes right here maybe if I open it there'll be hoses in the inside because you know, that would be awesome can you imagine carrying this thing around when it's full of water I would probably die Um, let's see, it looks like it comes off right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, it would probably be good if I, like, read the instructions instead of just breaking it, so. I'm only going to open this and then I'm going to stop filming because I just want to see, uh, if there's hoses in there or not. Man, there really should be more pictures to this because I don't want to read all this. Pre-clarifying. Okay. There's just way too much for me to be reading here. You know, you guys are like, really? Why don't you read instead of breaking it? I know. Okay, so I guess it's supposed to come apart right here. <laughs> Oop, I did something. Oh, there we go. Yay! Okay, got that off. can see these pictures one of these is to drain this this thing so say you want to do water change you drain this and it look it waters your plant this is where the fishy intake is or this is the intake sorry intake and then this goes back to the pond okay I was stupid why did I think there were hoses in here this is where the filter media is you dummy yes I have, I own canister filters. I should know that, but look at all that. That looks awesome. Ooh, I almost dropped it. 
Okay, so hopefully these instructions will tell me something about the hoses, where I can buy the hoses, and hopefully they're not too expensive in making this an even more expensive project than I've already made it. So, yeah. Um, we will be doing a video, of course, on setting this up because I know you guys want to see that. Yeah, I'm being very sarcastic. I'm still in my pajamas too, by the way. It's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So many instructions. So I'm going to let you guys go because this has already been way too long. But yeah, anyway, setting this beautiful pond, pond pump up. And I will also leave the instructions for, not the instructions, the link to this thing as well as the link to that thingy. Um, this is just a little add-on to the last part about these are what I had failed to realize did not come included with my filter and these are already unboxed unfortunately due to the fact that my um, camera deleted all the previous footage of me unboxing it um, but that's okay and hopefully we can get through this recording without my dogs ruining it again because they've ruined it like four or five times you guys know my struggle. Anyway, um, so these are what I was missing, or not missing, but what I had failed to realize needed to be also purchased with my filter. And I purchased right here, this is the Sun Sun CHS Submersible Pond Pump. Anyway, you guys can't read that, but the this one's the 1200 gallons per hour and I picked that size because I did research online and it said that the pond pump needs to pump about twice the volume of the tank per hour or in my case pond per hour so the pond is about 600 gallons so this one does 1200 gallons per hour my fish are bio loads going to be pretty low to begin with because the fish are so small so if I need to adjust this one, I bought this one specifically for this reason, is it has this little um, lever here, you can adjust the flow rate of the pump. And so if the fish are getting blown around, I can adjust it really easy. And then these come with it, if these are just adapters, because there's a whole bunch of sizes of the um, tubing out there and you can choose what size tubing you want and then you have these adapters here and I chose in the back there I chose the tetra pond tubing and it is one inch by 20 or one inch diameter by 20 feet long I wanted to do a bigger diameter um, tubing than that but unfortunately the reviews on it were not that good they were all like three or one stars and majority of them were one stars actually I think it's about 50 percent of the reviews were one star and the main complaint was that the tubing would crack very quickly and so these people were had their pond set up for like maybe one or two weeks and the tubing at the larger sizes was um, cracking and it was draining the pond and one person had actually dug a trench out and buried this pond tubing not not this one, the one that's bigger, and had to undo all of their hard work. So I decided let's just go with the one that had good reviews. This one had about four and a half stars out of five, and there were hundreds of reviews on this side, so I decided to go with this one. Um, so yeah, I will leave the links to these items in the description, as I will with the other two items that I also purchased. And I'm going to set this up later today. I don't know if I'll have that video up today. But I'm definitely going to have it set up. I'm not going to put fish in it today because it is still a little chilly out there. So the water coming in from the, um, from the street will be very, very cold. And I want to let it try to heat up a little bit in our, in our sun out there. So yeah, we're, I looked at the weather forecast for the next couple weeks and we're not expected to get into the 30s again. We're supposed to be in the like the lowest 40s we're getting in the 70s so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there on Tuesday if the water is heated a little bit from what it will come out of my tap 
So yeah, out of my tap, it's going to be like 50 degrees. And um, I think their tank is right now sitting in front of the window at about 65. So yeah, we got a little ways to go. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to be setting all this up with you guys um, in my next video. So there won't be... And, you know, you guys will be learning this as I'm learning it. And I don't think I'm going to have any help from my boyfriend because he is at work. And there won't be any daylight by the time he gets back from work. So I'm going to try to do this all on my own. Try being the keyword there. I don't know if I'm going to succeed. So, yes, if you, as I said, have any questions, feel free to ask. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!